Shavua Tov Hebrew Academy family. I want to take this opportunity to welcome everyone back to virtual learning. I know everyone is excited to see their friends, to see their teachers, and to get back to our learning. I want to share with you one quick idea from the Parsha. In this coming Parsha, Tazria talks about someone who is inflicted with Tsaras. Tsaras was a spiritual illness that manifested itself as a physical illness. Not like the virus that we're experiencing today. However, the punishment for someone who was inflicted by Tsaras says, Kol bo yitma tamehu, badad that all the days that this person has Tsaras, they have to leave the camp. They have to leave the camp of the Jewish people. Badad yeshev. And they must sit alone. Badad yeshev reminds us of Echa. Echa yashiva badad. When the Jewish people were sitting alone, when Israel sat alone. Although right now everyone is sitting alone, everyone is in their homes by themselves, social distancing from their friends, even from their family. We are not badad. We are not alone. We are together. We are in this together. We are fighting through this challenge to the best that we can. And I know together as a community, we can overcome anything and we can come out stronger at the end of this. Many people have inquired whether or not we're going to be opening our physical campus for this academic school year. And we're going to have a final decision with, within the next few days. And I encourage you to look out for an email coming from me. I really want to encourage everyone to provide feedback to us. Feedback is a blessing. We can't improve on this virtual learning if we do not hear from you. Some people want more Zoom, less Zoom, maybe even Zumba, not by me, of course. But let us know what's working, what's not working. Please be in touch with your teachers. I want to take this opportunity to thank the teachers and staff of Hebrew Academy. The teachers are putting in hours upon hours of effort, trying out new ideas, pushing themselves and their limitations of what they can do to provide the education that everyone is accustomed to at this school. I also want to thank our board of directors who have been meeting regularly and asking very difficult and challenging questions that we as a school and as a community need to ask ourselves so that we can be prepared for the future that awaits us. The Navi says, Hine yamim bayim. Behold, the days are coming. I like to refer to those days as the days between Pesach and Shavuos. Yom HaShoah, Yom HaZikaron, Yom HaTzma'ut, Yom Yushalayim, Lag Ba'omer. Hine yamim bayim. We hope to provide many wonderful opportunities to get together as a community online to celebrate and commemorate each of these days in a meaningful way. And I look forward to seeing you there. With Hashem's help, there will be a refuah shalema for all of those who were inflicted by this virus. We offer our condolences, our nechama, to Rabbi Basavish on the loss of his father and to other members of the community who are currently sitting shiva for their losses. May Hashem continuously provide over us, help us, heal us, bring us comfort, and let us come out of this stronger as a community. Because we are not badad, we are not alone, we are biyachad, we are together, and we are one, and we can do this. Because I know that each of you are true warriors inside. Looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you soon. We miss you. Bye.